Reading for 24 hours again. I did this on my reading channel. I'm doing this on my main channel now. I've recently been overwhelmed with how many books I want to read and how little time I have. Like I will never in my entire life be able to finish every single book I possibly ever could want to read. There's just too many books. So I want to do a 24 hour reading challenge. My goal is to read for 24 hours straight, but in reality, I'm gonna be seeing how many books I can read in 24 hours. So while I will be trying to do an all-nighter, I am notoriously tired at 10 p.m. So we will see. I'm gonna have to have a book that I can't put down at that point. That being said, let's start by making some coffee. Today, the only thing I have to do is read, so I won't really be doing audiobook very often, but while I'm making lunch or dinner or my coffee, I'll be doing audiobook of Kingdom of Ash, the last book of Thorn Glass. So let's make coffee. Coffee, then we'll go over the books that I have for today, the lineup, and then we'll get to reading. I'm going to start my 24 hour timer right now because I'm throwing in my audiobook. Okay, hold on. Before we jump into today's video, I have to tell you about Ana Luisa, my favorite jewelry brand ever, and they're sponsoring this video. And I'm not lying when I say this because I've been wearing this exact necklace for two years, like 70, 80% of my days. Look at my videos. My best friend wore this necklace to my wedding. <laughs> my necklaces are from Ana Luisa, my bracelets, my new ring stack for my wedding band, most of my earrings, and I wear them every day. I'm the type of person that doesn't take my jewelry off ever, not to sleep, not to shower, nothing. And they have lasted me. And they're affordable. They have designs starting at just $39. And just go check out their website with the link in the description because they have so many pieces and all of them are so adorable they're classy they can elevate every outfit and these are long-lasting pieces that you're gonna have forever these are all the different times that I've gotten new jewelry and as you can tell by their packaging which is so cute by the way they are carbon neutral my most recent new pieces from them are this lovely bracelet and I actually got two rings to be a part of my wedding band stack so if you want to get some new jewelry elevate your outfits go check them out with the link down in the description and I promise you will not be disappointed. So let's wear my cute jewelry and read some cute books. Last time I did one of these videos, I really only read like one book, but I'm in the middle of a lot of really good books. So I think I'm gonna be able to read multiple or at least like get a good amount through a couple of books. Ideally, I would at least finish one. So first we have Kingdom of Ash, which is the last book in the Throne of Glass series. I am eating this up. I'm almost halfway. It's funny because literally yesterday I was telling my cousin how I'm kind of bored and things just picked up so it's going good then we have reckless which is the second book of the powerless series by lauren roberts uh i have the dust cover off because i'm in the middle of reading it but i'm also eating this book up i read 150 pages yesterday so i'm halfway actually i'm only like 30 percent. i don't know where i got half anyways it's really good. I could probably just sit down and finish this right now, so maybe I will. Then I have the second book in the Ember and the Ashes series. This series right here, but they came out with new covers. So I'm really excited about this one. These three are all pretty heavy on the fantasy, so it takes a lot of brain power. This one is a lot more like romance fantasy. This one, there's an insane amount of wars going on because it's the last book. And this one, I don't really know what to expect because there was a huge like twisty turn at the end of the last one. But it's all fantasy. So if I want to break from fantasy, my other two books just kind of on my TBR right now are Better Than the Movies and The Summer of Broken Rules. These are both just like light romance books as far as I know. So these could be good too. Okay, my first physical sitting, physical setting physical reading moment of this video let's get in some chapters i'm gonna be listening along just to help me pay attention and then i'm gonna finish the chapter i'm on with audiobook <clears throat> and then i'll switch to just listening to music so let's get going <laughs> update time and I also want to share with you guys kind of my game plan to make sure I'm reading and not like getting bored I don't know um I have 
pretty much 22 hours left, 21 hours and 53 minutes. So I've actually been reading for quite a while. I forgot to say, I started around 10 o'clock. So it is noon right now. So I've been reading for about two hours. And so my game plan is that every time I sit in a new spot, I have to read at least 50 pages. So I sat on this couch and before I can get up from the couch to go to a new location or get a drink or anything like that, unless it's just to use the bathroom, I have to read 50 pages. I feel like that'll kind of keep me on track. And then I also think that moving every 50 to 100 pages to a new location, grabbing a snack or a drink or whatever will keep my mind from getting tired, keep me moving and getting through the story. So I sat down with Kingdom of Ash. I don't even know what chapter I started on. My goal was to get to page 460, which still would have been over 50 pages. And I got to page 484. So I think I just read like 100 pages. I just don't remember exactly what page I started on. Anyways, this is getting so good. Like everything that I said about like, I don't know, it's kind of long, it's a little, no. Now I'm loving it, okay? Things are just going so good, intertwining. I can't even explain. If you have not read Throne of Glass, you just don't know, but if you have, you know. I was going to switch over to Powerless, but it is time for me to get lunch ready for my husband because I make food at the same time that his lunch break is, so we can eat together. So I'm gonna make food and audiobook a little bit, so that means I'll get even more of Kingdom of Ash in, and then I'll read Wally. So honestly, I think my goal will be to get to about page 500 before I switch to a different book for a little bit, unless I'm just like super enthralled in this. Is that a good plan, Bobby? Is that a good plan? He wants me to just sit down so he can cuddle me. Headphones back on. Audiobook chapter 57. During those days in this world, oh, not he connected. found himself sharing parts of himself. crazy just happened in my book but I'm on page 503 I don't think I said but this book is almost a thousand pages it is 980 980 pages and I'm on page 502 but now I think I'm officially over halfway there's also part two let me see so I'm on chapter 59 chapter 67 and then there's like part two so let's see when that is I would assume it's like, oh yeah, here we go. Like another 100 pages probably. Okay, so another 80 pages and I'll be on part two. I think part two will probably be a good stopping point, although I'll probably want to keep reading, uh, to switch to a different book. So 80 pages. I'm a really slow reader, so that's gonna take like over an hour. Um, maybe I should just stop now. Well, I'm in like the middle of a battle, so I at least have to finish this battle. But now it's hard to stop because every time I end a chapter, it's a cliffhanger or they're in the middle of something or I really wanted to know. It's like, I mean, I guess I could just read this and then move on. I don't have to keep switching books, but I ate lunch. I did take like a little 10 minute break of no reading or anything to chat with my husband for a second and eat. So that was good. But I also feel like crap and I'm on my period, a little TMI, but I have horrible cramps today and I'm like struggling. I'm struggling to pay attention because I'm in so much pain and I feel like a good hot shower would hit. So I'll just do audiobook for like a chapter or two. Just take a nice hot shower. Reading in the shower, that's whole new level. I've actually taken, I'll actually do that. I'm going to bring my candle into the shower and just lay on the shower floor with the hot water where my cramps hurt and that's just going to hit. I used to do that. So we're bringing it back. <laughs> I know my bed is made, my room's a mess, please ignore. I was reading last night on my Kindle and I have like the stand and then this clip and this page turning button. So I just sit with my arms tucked in and read without even having to use my hands. Um, I'm gonna take off my case because the one I have, oh wait, this thing, I mean it can get wet, it's just gonna be weird. I actually don't wanna take off my case because of all my stickers. I probably shouldn't get them wet. Okay, well, they're kind of all falling and need readjusted anyway, so I will go ahead and take it off. The case and the stickers are all from Amazon. It feels so weird to hold without a case. I've had a case on it since I've had it. 
Last time I was reading, I was on about page 370. So I actually have read over 100 pages already today. Um, okay, chapter 59, page 503. Let's go. So I'm just gonna like set it in here. I'll probably hold it when I sit on the ground, but oh, I used to literally just put it in here and read while I showered. Easy peasy. <laughs> Okay, I will let you guys know how much I get done reading in there. I am taking off my clothes now, so see you after. part two and oh my gosh I feel like I just watched a movie the amount of stuff that just happened in the last hundred pages is insane like part one could have been its whole own book it ended like it was the end of a book and like the last hundred pages Sarah J Mass. oh but it's not the last hundred pages so I can't even imagine what's gonna happen in the last hundred pages I'm scared I am on page 590 and I'm only 59% of the way through this book Whew. It's a lot. I kind of want to keep reading it, but at the same time, it did wrap up nicely. I feel like now's a good time to stop because I am equally as excited to finish this book. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I sit down to read this, I'm probably going to read it in one sitting. But yeah, I'm like 30% of the way through. So let me figure out where I want to read this one. I want like a whole new environment. Maybe downstairs. Downstairs seems like a vibe. And time update. Oh my gosh. How does time go by so fast? It is 2.50 and I have 19 hours and four minutes left of this challenge. I feel like I should have read a lot more, but I also feel like I did read a lot. I pretty much read like 200, maybe closer to 300 pages. I don't know, I'm a little confused. I don't know, I'm confusing myself. I'm not even gonna, I should have paid attention more at the beginning when I started it. Anyways, Reckless, Lauren Roberts, let's go. I just read like 20 pages and I'm falling asleep. Why? It's like 3.30. I, I really struggled through those 20 pages, not because the book isn't good. The book is so good. I'm so tired. That's what I get for doing this on my period. I'm so tired. I am drinking a Red Bull. My eyes are just so heavy, so I'm hoping maybe, maybe I should go outside. Let me get a little bit more in. I know I'm supposed to do like 50 pages before I move to my next spot. We'll see how many pages I can get through, but I think if I go outside, that'll help wake me up. So let me get through like another chapter and we'll see. <laughs> y'all i'm rehyped i have energy the red bull is hitting i just took about a 10 minute break to use the bathroom and i got a really exciting email so i talked to my husband about that texted my friend about it got excited which has my heart rate going which means i'm excited to be reading so we are now on page 180 i am annotating that's why i have my stuff with me and the book just got exciting so it's just lots of excitement let's keep reading <laughs> I am 
crying throwing up at what I just found out. I am on chapter 40, page 307, which means I have less than 100 pages. I'm definitely just gonna fly through this. And I also had listened to a few kind of theories about how people thought this would end. And I fear someone was right. Based on some stuff that Kit's been saying and in Kit's chapters, I'm like, there's no way. If that's how it ends, I'll be crying, screaming. I'll probably just rip all the pages out of the book and throw it across the room. I don't know how I will be okay. So, too many twists. Things are just, ah! You know, I feel like my life is enthralled today in this book. And the crazy thing is that as soon as I finish this, I will be attempting to finish Kingdom of Ash, which is also heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching, throwing up. So, um, basically what I'm saying is I would highly recommend reading both of these books. <laughs> Okay, quick little update. First, I'm in bed because I have really bad cramps, so I'm laying here with my heating pad on me. Uh, second update, I have like, yeah, 18 pages left. I'm so scared. How is this ending in 18 pages? I'd be like, what? We're about to find out basically the main character's fate, and I'm like so scared right now. Yeah, I put on a playlist that had me literally crying. So like the book had me crying, and then the playlist, the music that I had going with it doubled down on the tears, plus I'm on my period. So I'm an emotional mess, and I feel like nothing too crazy has even happened. So I have less than 12 hours left of my reading challenge also, but we'll focus on that after I finish this book. to this page. Okay, I need a really good song. I already have tears for me. Literally covering the page with my hand so I don't read ahead. No. I'm really crying. I can't finish it. It's too sad. my book and it was just so good it was just so great okay that ending was like so much worse than i thought it was gonna be when i started the book now i listened to some theories like i said before i started this book and the one that i thought might be true because some of the stuff that kit was saying was true but it was still like heart-wrenching to read i wish i didn't hear anything like okay note to self stop looking at stuff before you read a book that would have that would have been crazy if I was just completely shocked, but I followed the hints, so I wasn't like 100% shocked. But oh my gosh, I I'm taking a break, okay, to collect myself. Um, before I take a break, I have 11 and a half hours left of reading. I don't feel super tired. I just feel emotional, and I still have cramps. So I might take a bath, but I need a break before I hop into Kingdom of Ash because I simply cannot take more emotion in this moment. I just need to listen to like some incredibly sad songs. And actually, I want to watch some TikToks about people talking about the end of this book because I just have to do that after a good book. So, taking a little break. I forgot to mention to you guys, before I started this video, I had just finished Powerful, which is like the little novella between Powerless and Reckless. And I wish I annotated this because I feel like this book was genuinely like thought provoking in some ways or like relatable and just putting things into words so beautifully that I could never, but it's like feelings that I've had or thoughts that I've had. And it was just so good. And then ugh, going back to back, I'm distraught, okay? Emotional wreck at the end. Emotional wreck at the end. Emotional wreck at the end. That's been my life. Four stars. Yes, I was emotional, but there was a little bit of repetitiveness and it was very Kai and Pei focused, very romance heavy and less plot heavy. I wish I had a little more plot. And there were just a lot of loose ends 
that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. Well, my camera died while I was in the middle of that review, but I was basically saying that it doesn't mean that I didn't like it. I still absolutely loved it and ate it up and the banter was so good in it and killed me. I wish I hadn't heard anything about how it could end because it did kind of ruin it for me, but at the same time it was good. And I think that this book sets up book three, which she already released or said that it'll be released in April. I can't believe I have to wait till April. But I think that the third book is absolutely going to hit. I think it'll tie everything together. And watching her interviews and like TikToks and stuff, I resonate so much with her. Like she writes a book how I would probably write a book, which I could never do. But like I, I love her style of writing. So I loved it. Four stars. Um, I'm going to hop right back into Kingdom of Ash because that book right there could have put me in a reading slump. It was so good. Or a reading hangover as people say. So I'm going to hop right into my next book that will give me a reading hangover. Kingdom of Ash. Um... I'm gonna actually take a shower because my cramps are so bad and just put that hot water on me again. Maybe wake me up a little bit and do some audiobook slash Kindle reading. Wow, my camera charges. I got to page 730 in Kingdom of Ash. So I really only have like 200 pages left. Um, my Kindle and audiobook are both saying there's about five hours left of reading. I have seven hours left of this challenge, I think. It's 2 a.m. by the way, so that's crazy. I'm actually not that tired. My body's tired, but my brain is still awake. So I think I'm just gonna lay in bed, audiobook in, Kindle on my little setup, looking through, and we'll see how much I can get through. My goal now for this video is to just finish that book. That'll be two highly anticipated books, books I've been wanting to finish, but just needed some time to get through uh, that I'd be really excited about. Also, while reading Kingdom of Ash or listening, I cried twice again. Okay, it's going crazy. There's like war and war and people and this and that and this crazy thing happened that I can't explain with Dorian and I'm like, Um, so I stayed up till like 2.30 and I fell asleep with my audiobook going and when I woke up, the book was over. So I had to figure out, luckily I had my Kindle still on the chapter when I fell asleep and so I'm not done with the book. I'm on chapter like 80 something and I had seven hours of reading left when I fell asleep or like I think six once I fell asleep, something like that. I don't know, I was asleep and I just woke up and I have like an hour left. I was planning on waking up with like a few hours left so that was a little bit of a flop and I don't do well on no sleep. Anyways, let's just throw in the audiobook and do some Kindle reading here in bed for a bit and while I get ready to make coffee and stuff. I also like I had this Mountain Dew next to me I was supposed to open because Mountain Dew has a lot of caffeine. I was supposed to drink this and I wasn't that tired and then I mistake got in bed and suddenly fell asleep. So yeah. <laughs> Boom, 24 hours. I'd say I did pretty good. I did a lot better in this challenge than I did last time. And I was just doing my nails for the last like hour or so while I listened to my audiobook. I read basically the end of two books. This one I'm almost done with. I'm definitely still gonna finish it today. I am on page 790 of 980. Like 200 pages left. This is definitely doable to finish today. But I'm really glad I did the 24 hour reading challenge to help me get through this because I was so convinced I would never finish this book just because it was so long. I think challenging myself to just read for an entire day as long as I can through the night and stay up as long as I can, which wasn't very late, helps me get through it. So I kind of like doing this challenge. Maybe next time I do it, I'll do where I read for 12 hours, sleep, and then read for 12 hours. So I truly am reading for 24 hours because reading for 24 hours straight is honestly one of the hardest things because you get so tired. You're not looking at your phone or anything like that. Um, and then, you know, it might be cheating because I use audiobook, but at the same time, it's my video. So I can decide if it's cheating or not. I say it's not, but I also will read along with the audiobook a lot of times. Just helps me to focus. So maybe I'll try 
try one where I literally do no audiobook, no sleeping. I don't know. It's really hard, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, also at the end of this book, like this last hour, I cried twice. Like this is insane. Sarah J. Mass just rips my heart out over and over and over. Okay, two emotional books back to back. It's been rough, <laughs> okay? Anyways, I'm actually gonna get back to reading because I'm in the middle of like some insanity with Aelin our main character. If you guys want to see me finish reading this book, you're going to have to watch my Throne of Glass part two video to get my reaction, my rating, everything like that for all of the books. Um, so that should be out soon. Thank you guys for watching my 24 hour read challenge. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.